Go bro! Take a picture! Αν το έχει αυτό, ε! Γαμά! I don't know why I just wanted to start this video with uh, Tsavalos. He always makes me smile. So, uh, welcome to another episode of Just Go Kite Surfing. It's been almost three months that we came back from Cape Town. It was three very busy months, but I finally got the time to finish the video about Simari or El Sdioni. Some people call it the Flatland. You're gonna understand why. I think the name is pretty much justified. We were incredibly lucky to score an insane session of 35 to 40 knots in Cimari. This is like very unprecedented. It never happened before. So we were incredibly privileged to be super powered with a seven meter guy. Since March, the wind has been constantly pumping. I haven't used my 12 meters yet. I'm kiting almost exclusively with nine, my nine meters and my 10 meters. If you haven't booked any kite surfing destinations yet, consider seriously coming here to Nafaktos. The place is really going to blow your mind. I think you're going to be fully rewarded and kite as much as possible. The most accurate forecast is usually through meteo.gr. We usually check for the, those light green arrows. The more you see, the more the chances you get for some strong thermal winds. Now, with Timari, unfortunately, it's always a little bit of a gamble. The wind will not always kick in, and if it doesn't, you most likely will be very bored and you won't kite that day. Dion is approximately one hour and 20 minutes from Nafpaktos. It's important to mention that the wind will never kick in earlier than 3 p.m., so there's really no point of going so much earlier. It's quite family friendly and it's also friendly for kids because the locals have built some huts which actually protect from the wind. season for Tsimari is between April and August. Keep in mind that Tsimari is not a very large spot, so therefore be mindful for the other riders. When the wind is strong enough, like hopefully today, it looks like it's quite strong. It's an amazing experience is to take, to go through the mangroves, go through the river and do a nice downwinder to the river and back to the spot. Magnificent location, amazing sunset, butter flood, and there is even an extra wave spot. It can get crowded very easily. It's quite far from anything else interesting to do. If the wind doesn't pick up, you're probably gonna get very bored in this place. Διόνι παιδιά, μάλλον θα ζήσουμε μαγικές στιγμές σήμερα εδώ με το φίλο μου τον Γιάννη. Όποιοι δεν έχουν έρθει απλά χάνουνε. Αέρα! Έπιασε αέρα στο Διόνι ποτέ!
loaded. It's unseen. We have like 30, 35 loads gas. Παιδιά, ανεπανάληπτες οι δίκες! Ακόμα και αν το γου δεν το γράψει ή κάτι γίνει με το γου, ποιος ξέρει 22,4 παιδιά Για την άφακτο ρε γαμότο Oh my god guys, what an experience it was If you like that content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button Also don't forget to check the description of the video I've added some coupon codes One is for kite lessons here in Afpactos with Wind Circus And another one is for online shopping from KiteZone Dot NL. Stay tuned because soon I'm going to release another video about one more sick destination here in the area of Napaktos, the incredible Drepano. Take care guys, till the next time. <laughs>